Hey y'all, it's Lindsay. Today I thought I would share with you what I eat in a day on a ketovore lifestyle. I classify ketovore as a high protein, moderate to high fat, low carb way of eating. And it's just really what I do to support my health. So I thought I would share those things with you today. I love watching what I eat in a day videos and I also love to share them. So here we are. <laughs> today has already kickstarted. I've already had some coffee and I always drink my coffee black. Sometimes I add some stevia to it. Sometimes I don't. Um, it just kind of depends on my mood for the day, but it is 100% black coffee. Um, we have had a very busy past weekend. This week has already shaped up to be pretty busy as well, but I still want to be intentional with eating on the regular. Whenever we get busy, I tend to not eat as much. I tend to just continue to do and cycle and, and find the next task that needs to be done. And by filming, it causes me to slow down a little bit and actually think, oh, I should probably eat something. <laughs> so this is helpful to me. I hope it is helpful to you. If you are new here, welcome. I hope you poke around my channel. And if it serves you, I would love for you to subscribe. If you are a returning viewer, I really appreciate you coming back to see what I have to share. Um... Let's go make some breakfast. For breakfast today, I have three eggs that I scrambled up. I took a slice of some leftover brisket my husband made this past weekend and chopped that up in tiny little pieces, heated it up in the cast iron over here, chopped the eggs on top, made it a little scramble, and of course, using my homemade mayonnaise as always, I decided not to use any Cholula or Sriracha just because the bark on the brisket is super flavorful and I don't want the competing hot sauce to go um, against that. And he used a lot of pepper, so it's already got enough kick to it for me. So this will be breakfast. Oh, we are missing. I have finished my second cup of coffee. Apparently, brisket and egg scramble is insufficient for my belly. I'm feeling quite hungry at the moment and um, yeah, what is happening here? We've got like a hair trapped. I know you're not watching that, but anywho. Um, ah. So I've got a package of bacon that I baked off in the oven the other day. Probably, actually I think it was yesterday. So days run together. I'm going to have, let's see here. There's a lot of bacon in here. I think I'm going to do maybe two or three slices, warm it up in the air fryer back there, and then I'm also going to make some electrolytes because that would be wise. <laughs> I really want more coffee. It's already 30 degrees outside, but I still want some coffee. It's feel It's been feeling a little bit chillier here, and I love that, but I um, don't need to drink the coffee all the day long. So, electrolytes, bacon, and a child needs help with hair. Okay, I finally broke down and decided to try the Redmond Real Light. Re Light, not Real Light, good gravy. When we lived in Utah, we lived in Lehigh, Utah for a little while, we had access to Redmond products in the grocery stores, which was fantastic, before they became like kind of more popular. That was, gosh, 2014 or something the girls used the toothpaste we had the real salt all that stuff and then we moved up to Alaska and then we moved out to Wisconsin and, Red and Redmond was not in the actual grocery store we had access to when we were in Wisconsin so I kind of like let them drop off my radar and then they kind of started coming out with all the products, like all the stuff and things. And I was like, you know, I don't need one more product to add to my arsenal right now. I just don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. And then I finally decided, you know what? <laughs> Neely loves the Redmond Relights. 
I'm gonna break down, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. And my honest reaction to this, the mixed berry is what I chose. I love it. I really do. I love it. And let me tell you, one of the main reasons why I love it, I don't know if you'll be able to see this because my stand here is wonky. Whoop, I'm gonna lose a cup here. So the color is, you know, slightly, slightly, ever so, ever so slightly, um, pink, but I, I also like to go through and do a little bit of hot water. Okay, so I do four ounces of hot water to help that salt dissolve in the cup. And once that's done, I will uh, show you what else. Okay, so we finished brewing the water. Look at that. We swirl it. Uh, see the light. Look, it's not colored. I love that. You know I have shared with you in the past my um, pink li or my strawberry lemonade keto base, and that's not my favorite. Um, sorry for the wobbly camera work here. But the Key Nutrients Key Keto, I do really like this strawberry lemonade better than this one. This though, it always alarms me every time I stir it up into my water. This is not electrolytes. This is exogenous ketones. Um, but the thing that always alarmed me was how neon, like not neon pink, like not my sweater pink, but how bright pink this was always alarmed me. And I know it was just because of beetroot. Oh, you can't read that whenever I don't show it to you. Brilliant. It's beetroot powder that causes it to be bright pink. And that always unnerves me. But whenever it is clear or like, you know, the color of salt, that does not bother me. That actually makes me really excited and happy. It's, you know, it's not being colored. <laughs> I appreciate that much. We'll come over here, snack some more water. Look, such a beautiful clearish color. I'm here for it. Oh, I left the dadgum scoop out. I got to fix that. And this cup, I believe, is an 18-ounce cup. Give it a little stir. It dissolves more quickly with that hot water. I also am not a fan of ice-cold water, and so this works out beautifully. Love it. Okay, so we've got the relight. We have some bacon. I went ahead and heated up five pieces because my eight-year-old said she would like some bacon as well. We're going to share that and then keep moving forward. Bacon has been consumed. <laughs> Electrolytes are well underway. I don't know if you can see through there. Um, I popped up the lid to restir it, but it's looking quite nice and dissolved. That hot water trick works for me beautifully. It's a trick I use for most powdered um, drink add-ins and what have you. Just a minute, baby. Um, and I like the fact that I can just like gulp this down quickly. You're probably not supposed to do that, but I don't know. I just like to get it in, move on to the next like cup of coffee. True story. We need to go run a few errands. So I'm trying to get this down beforehand so I can make another cup of coffee and make that to go because that's the best. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see if I make it. We've got to leave shortly. All right, black cup of coffee, ready to go. I finished up those electrolytes. We're ready for that. Aaron's time. It is time for lunch. So I've refilled my water glass here, just plain water this time, no more electrolytes. I have some egg white bread that I toasted in my air fryer, and then I have slathered it with my Chipotle ranch. I do have a video where I share this recipe. I have two slices of ham and two slices of turkey, no cheese, no nothing else, and then I have some chips. I did a video quite a while back where I did some egg white wraps, um, but I used a bit of baking blend that I make, or I used almond flour, I can't quite remember. 
Um, regardless, I do have a video on how I used to make egg white wraps. I have now switched over to making the egg white wraps with the egg white protein powder instead of a um, an alternative flour for keto like my baking blend or almond meal or coconut flour or even oat fiber. So I have some of those here that I cut into strips, popped it in my air fryer at 350 for about four minutes, shaking every so often. And they are light, they are crispy, they are not burnt. And I'm going to go eat this for my lunch. I decided I wanted some salsa. That's probably a quarter cup of salsa. Okay, my husband made tons of brisket, like I had said. These are all of the burnt ends he made, but he sauced every single one of them with a non-sugar-free uh, barbecue sauce. He did Sweet Baby Ray's on those. I'm very, like, um, So I'm going to heat these up. There's tons of leftovers in our fridge right now. I'm going to heat these up for him, and a couple of our girls want some as well. So we'll just heat up a bunch of those for them. But I do have leftover shredded chicken in my fridge as well. And I think I might, I'm kind of still like living for the Chipotle ranch. So I might just do a sort of like a Chipotle ranch chicken salad type of a thing on those egg white wraps that I showed you um, that became my chips earlier. That's actually full. Reheat those in there. But I think that might be what I do for myself for dinner. And then some of the other girls, they want um, leftover, like, mac and cheese. <laughs> it's like the Dreamfields pasta with, with sprinkle, like shredded cheese mixed into it and, you know, the little smoky pigs in it. They're just, they're just simple humans, to be honest. <laughs> so I will probably warm that up for them and we'll pull out the vegetables and all that jazz, just try to clear out some leftovers. And I'm going to go heat up my cast iron to put the chicken, the shredded chicken into, and then I will do the Chipotle ranch on it after the fact. I don't know if I'm gonna toast, like pan fry my um, egg white wraps, or if I'll just like warm them up, like steam them to make them more, um, you know, warm and pliable as opposed to warm and crispy. I don't know. We're just, we're just going to roll with it right now. I had about one eighth of a head of cabbage left. So I sauteed that up. I have the chicken right here and I'm going to build some tacos for myself. All right. Everything is all plated. I did that shredded chicken and I kind of mixed it with a little bit of Chipotle ranch and then topped it with some romaine shredded up and a little bit more of the Chipotle ranch. There's that cabbage that I had left over. I'm probably going to add a little bit of mayonnaise here in a second. And then I've also got my, um, this is some yellow squash that we had left over from, I don't know, three or four nights ago. So I thought I would clean that up. And these tacos are on my egg white wraps that I shared that I made into those chips earlier today. Going to try to use those up. That's what I've got here for dinner tonight. Okay, last food for the night. This is a protein hot chocolate, and I have made this before on my channel. I will try to remember to link the food um, video that I did where I shared my exact ingredients. I'll just do a quick flyby here. I have cocoa powder, some allulose, peppermint stevia, some acacia powder. I did use coconut milk this time because it was open. And then I have my Isopure protein that is giving me 25 grams of protein. And I did get a pinch of salt in there as well. You do want to be cautious whenever you are microwaving your whey protein. It will turn into a mug cake if you let it go for too long. And if there's not enough liquid compared to the amount of powder you have. So one little caution there, but it works out beautifully whenever I do it in short bursts. So that is going to be my dessert for tonight. I think that is going to do it for today. I appreciate you watching and following along for what I eat in a day on a ketovore way of life, high protein, moderately high fat, and low carb. If you are new here again, I would love for you to check out my channel, subscribe if you feel so inclined, and I hope to see you in my next video.